Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. Today I want to bring you a highlight of a game that I had today playing this uh, Square to Elf deck. I've been playing this deck a lot on ladder. I recently hit my peak MMR again with this list. And yeah, it's, it's really, really strong. If you're looking for a good elf list, I recommend you give this one a shot. A uh, notable difference from this list than some other lists is the Call Shiro combo with Iflin and the Wolfsbane, and we'll get into that in just a sec. I'll, I'm gonna run through this list very, very quickly. Ethne, good card. Good leader, helps you line up cards like Gigni, Ithlin, or sorry, uh, Gigni and Shiro. Gigni, very, very strong. The original list I was running, I used to run Scorch. The problem is I was running into issues where cards like Milva would brick it. So I cut the Scorch, ran Gigni. Gigni is just super, super strong right now because of the Witcher meta. Fantastic in Ethne, probably auto include in every Ethne deck. Very strong against big monsters. Very rarely does he brick unless it's a short round three. Ithlin, nine strength for 11. Uh, the main use of this is for Shiru. Uh, Shiru, if you've seen, Shiru can get crazy, crazy value in like a mod, in like a medium to long round uh, with lineups. Um, originally with Shiru, I would run cards like Thunderbolts. Uh, and you boost Shiru up and you go off on the zeal proc and burn everything. But uh, because they got nerfed and it's dependent on your opponent not having artifact removal, I wasn't a huge fan of it. So what we do now is we use Ithlin to boost Shiru to six. Six is usually good. Worst case scenario, they play a lot of fours and you have to ping Shiru down to four from six with two ethne pings, which is fine. Uh, or if you don't find Ithlin, uh, you just call it on one of your elves and pull out Shiru. Um, Preferably, I have Shiru in my hand and I play Ithlin on Shiru or I call Ithlin onto Shiru. Generally, I like Shiru at six. I don't want to rely on my opponent not killing any of my elves. Elrin, points. Uh, this deck is very elf heavy. The entire list is elves besides Gigni, Call, Roach, which will never be in your hand. It'll be in your deck, Wolfsbane, and Witchers, and Mova. Um, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of elves. Almost always get Elrin out in round one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you use Call of the Forest on Aelorin while Aelorin's on the board, assuming you still have uh, four elves on the board, not including Aelorin, uh, and you call another elf, let's say Ithlin, to put onto your Shiru, Aelorin will come back at, at the end of the turn. So Call is basically three plus whatever uh, for free instead of normally you do it on, like let's say, a Neophyte. Uh, you throw the Neophyte away, uh, so you lose two points there. But with Aelorin, you lose zero points. Very strong. Roach, very strong with Witchers. Uh, more points early game. Malayan is an 8 for 9. It's good. It's good round 3. The flexibility of pinging 4 units by 1 is super strong. Uh, especially when we get into the next card, Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane, uh, this is a card you're going to start seeing a lot more of. This card is really, really, really good in Scoia'tael. Uh, it's an 8P card. Damage all enemies with either odd or even power. Um... Because you have Ethne and because you have cards like Archers, uh, lining up all odds or all evens is very easy. Uh, on the same note, you can use Malayan. So let's say they have three odds and four evens, right? You can ping the four evens so that you have seven odds uh, with Malayan. So very, very strong, especially uh, if you have a decent amount of both odd and evens. And it's not just like five odds and one even. And you can just do that with Ethne. So very, very strong card. Uh, these two cards work, work very well together. Wolfsbane, generally, in round one, if you draw Wolfsbane, you can win the round, unless it's a mirror, even if you lose coin flip, because this card generally gets uh, probably 16 to 20 value, which is crazy. Um, if you don't have Wolfsbane, you're looking for Gigni. So in round one, and for Mulligans, if I lost coin flip and I really want to win round one, which is very important against... Uh, like big monsters or control Squatel, uh you're going to be wanting to look for cards for Gigni, like Gigni or Wolfsbane. If you get neither, it's going to be rough, but good luck. Uh, Witchers, they're good cards. Nothing more to go into about them. Milva, very strong engine. Slam it on turn one. Very strong card. Elves, don't really have to go into too much detail. Um, all very strong cards. Lots of removal attached to them. Vanguards. Boost self by one for each elf in your hand, so you want to play this very, very early on. Uh, ideal opener for this deck would be something like Milva on turn one, 
into Vanguard, uh, second Vanguard if you're lucky, and drew both, uh, and then start removing your opponent's cards. Obviously, if they play an engine on turn one, you're going to opt to remove an engine first before you um, get like your Vanguard or MOBAs out. Removing is always the most important because you might lose like a point on Vanguard by playing an officer first, uh, but denying an engine is usually worth one plus points, so always correct to remove. Uh, we run the one BME because <laughs> we need to for points. I wouldn't run this card otherwise. Uh, Elven Swordmaster. This is like a spear, an artifact spear, except on a body. Just keep this in mind. If you're playing against a control deck, this card's going to die. Uh, so if you get into round three and it's a short round, you should probably mulligan this card. Uh, against Squayatel, this card, the only time this card ever lives is if I have tactical advantage and I TA it. And even then, they can usually kill it within two turns. So uh, be careful with this card. Against monster decks, it'll almost always live unless they have like Archspore, 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 Drowner. Um, if you do think they run it, which most decks do, you might even want to opt to play something like Neophytes first. Uh, into Elven Swordmaster. That way they can't um, guarantee the Archport proc on the Elven Swordmaster. Uh, general game plan, similar to any other control deck. Push round one, try to win. The long round in round one is very strong because you get a free five points on Erlen and you have cards like Gigney and Wolfsbane to secure the round. Very strong. Try pass round two, always 100%. Um, your, your long rounds are good because of Gigney, Wolfsbane, and Shearer. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the game. Basically what happened. You see Sea Hill and you raise a white flag. Yeah. Something like that. Have you seen Mill Monsters? Mill Monsters? How do you play Mill Monsters? I saw a Reddit post about Mill Nilfgaard. Someone was trying to push that deck. I think it's rude to not send GG to players who play artifacts. It's not their fault. Blame the game. I mean, isn't it their fault though? Because they're playing artifacts. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Blame the game, not the player. With Goliath and Unseen? Yeah, but... So what? You play Goliath, you play Unseen. It's pretty good. How do I get out of this round? Point smash and get out. Keep these at uh, even so that we can Wolfsbane. I don't know. I mean, he needs a 12. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, look, he found a 12. Okay. 
I wanted to play another odd card here. Not odd. Alright, I think we have to go off. Okay, he needs another, he needs a 10. Yeah, it's doable. Is it a 10? Zoltan Scoundrel does it. Igni does it. That does not do it. Close. That's okay. Witchers need to get nerfed. Yeah, Witchers need to get nerfed to add some variety. Because the problem is everybody's playing Witchers. Uh, and it, it, you basically, you're, you're kind of forced to play Witchers. If you don't play Witchers, you're at a disadvantage, right? Which is, you know, not a great feeling. Good. Yeah. How many mulligans does he have? Two. You take any? No. Is this hand good enough if he tries to bleed me? How many Arbalists have he played? He's played two Arbas, so this should survive. Okay. Do I believe what I just said? If I believe what I just said, then I'm holding on to this card. Swears kills it. I'm okay with that because it means it's not killing this. All right. Assuming I actually believe in what I just said, this is the correct play. If it's against the Skoya deck, we always take the Mulligan on Swordmaster. Uh, we're looking for Shiru, not Aelorn. Or call. Call's good too. Yeah, okay. Nice, good job, pumpkin. Alright, so we play Mova first, obviously, because she's not an elf. This might be overkill, we'll see. Yeah, where's the guy who asked about Mova? That's fine. Oh, it's Hunter. Hey, Hunter. How's it going? Right on time. So how does MMR work in pro rank? The other faction's MMR is low. We can only ladder with a faction we would progress faster. Uh, your MMR in low rank just ignore it. It doesn't matter. Your faction never mind. It, it doesn't matter. Um, for pro rank, you win some, you lose some in terms of MMR. Uh, it takes your highest MMR uh, and it combines that for the four factions, your four highest factions, and makes that into one. That's fair. It's fine. I'll, I'll go over it in a second after this game ends. 
Okay, so that should be his only removal, other than the gold card. He shouldn't be able to remove. I actually like, I like him winning this flip here. It's good for us. Hmm. Okay, so there's ups and downs for this line of play. The con is we're lowering our Gigni. The pro is we're probably gonna shiru it. So bringing the Gigni value down is not a big deal. We don't wanna ping this because it makes our shiru worse and we don't wanna ping threes because it makes slave infantry better. So the correct line of play is to ping the eight. He still has Tibor in deck, so he'd have to Quox to get that Tibor out, which I'm fine with. Quox is pretty expensive. I don't think he can run Quox, especially if he's running Peter. I say especially because most people don't play Peter, Gimpy, Xavier. Yeah, I don't think this runs Quox. I don't know how he fits it. That's a lot of gold techs. Triple gold tech. Uh, he's roping because, I don't know, he's got nothing to play. All right, so he played around slave infantry. That was good. Um, pings here, pretty straightforward. Ping the five and then Malayan kill it. Um, interesting, the reason to ping front Infantry is to play around whatever the gold card is that procs left and right. Um, that would proc these two. That would push this to eight if he wins the flip, which means I would just have to ping this down to seven to line the two up, which isn't a big deal. Um, and it pushes it into Gigni, so I'm okay with that. So if he actually runs that line of play, I'm fine with that. So we're actually okay if he makes that line. Because what we can do is we can gig me the front row on 7-7. Seven, seven, uh, and then we can shoot the fives because we still have three ethne pings. Yep. Please win. Good. He won. We want him to win. So now he opens up our gig me. Uh, he's debating whether or not to use his leader to try to offset. Oh, no, he's not. He's just taking his time on that. Do you go for the offset? He missed. What do you buff? Ooh, so he's playing around Gigni. Okay. All right, I see you. We have to gig me. Okay, so I can kill the seven. I can line up Gigni, but I have to empty my Ethne into it, which means I don't get a Shira proc. Yeah, I know I can kill fives. I'm, I'm fully aware. But is that correct? I don't know. I think it's correct to gig me first. Um, because if I kill the fives, gig me doesn't go off anymore. Because he has an 11 and a 3, and that's bad. The only line where this is incorrect is because I have four elves on the board, which means if he kills any of my elves, my shoot, I don't get Alaran out of my deck, but I don't think I'm worried about that. I don't know. I, I, I don't really want to get the extra Gigni value because losing three Ethne pings is really bad because our Shiru bricks on zero. There we go. That's game. And we get Eleran out, so we win by a few points.
Cool. So playing Gigme first was correct. 